Um, but so while I was going to school and while I was going to school, I was meeting Algerians and then these Pakistani girls whose parents were really taking me in and talking to me about politics and history, which I didn't do with my own parents. Um, so they had a big influence over me. Um, and they were giving me an identity that I didn't have. So I was adopting a new, a, a new personality and conforming. Um, then, it, yeah, so that's what happened to me after September 11th. And then I um, put on the hijab and the jilbab and started covering and covering my face. My school, the school principal didn't like it. Mm -hmm. oh, can you explain the jilbab to uh, listeners who may not and, be familiar with it? Why did the school principal didn't like wearing you wearing the hijab? Yeah, well, my school principal liked checking out the pretty girls at school. <laughs> That's oh, what shit. I remember. I, yeah, I'm not kidding. And I, I knew it, and that made me feel like, you know, eerie. And I didn't like it when there was like this 60 year old, old white man checking me out and check, you know, it was, it, and it was slimy. So I was like, a more of a reason for me I felt like to cover up and and even the, there was pressure from the um, Indian community the, I mean the not Indian but Pakistan, Desi oh, sorry, Indian subcontinent community the girls yeah, would put yeah. pressure on me to uh, to be more traditional they said I was too western I came with jeans I wore makeup they would um, you know they would essentially slut shame me and even though I wasn't you know, like that, but I was just from a different part of England, but they wanted me to be more like them. They wanted me to cover. And the more I covered, the more they wanted me to cover. They just kept asking me to cover and cover and cover until I was covering my eyes and my hands and just to please these guys. And now I look back and I think, gosh, they, they had problems, but, you know, and I was too like insecure to see it. <laughs> Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.